Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today we're just gonna do an everyday makeup routine. Just something simple and basic today to switch things up a little bit. And if this is your type of content, please feel free to sit back, relax, and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I am just taking my NYX Bear With Me setting spray. I'm just gonna use that and set my face real quick. I like the smell of this setting spray. It does smell good. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and set my eyelids and I'm going to prime my skin as well with a matte primer. And for my eyelids, I'm just gonna go in with the Believe Beauty Universal Shade for my eyelids. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm trying to get a video up because it's about to storm. I know there's some places that have had like tornado warnings and things like that. So I was like, let me go ahead and get a video up real quick. So I'm just gonna take my concealer brush. This is my e.l.f. concealer brush. I'm just gonna blend out my primer on my eyelids. All right, so while the eyeshadow primer is setting in and drying down, I'm just going to take my old school Rimmel Stay Matte Face Primer and I'm gonna apply this on my face. I love bringing out old school products. I love using them up. So if you have some old school products, make sure to bring them out and show them some love. I did have one, but I had used it, so I went and purchased another one. This is the gem right here. One of them, one of the many. So I'm gonna go in with a couple eyeshadows today. Um, the first one that I'm using, I believe this one was off Timu but this one is the Nude Magical Langmani uh, eyeshadow palette. So it's the nude palette here. And I'm just gonna take a couple of these transition shades here and I'm just gonna blend that in my crease. I washed all of my makeup brushes, so we are all set to go. So I'm just going to take probably these two colors here at top and put these in my crease. Again, this is just gonna be a simple glam. I'm not going all out today. We're just doing something basic and pretty much neutral for the most part. Just everyday makeup glam. All right, so now that the transition shades are on, I'm gonna go in with my Wonder Beauty palette. This is the, which one is this? This is the Trailblazer eyeshadow palette, the Wonder Beauty palette. These are the colors here. Again, this is another reason why I love BoxyCharm because you get to sample out new eyeshadows, new makeup, skincare, things like that. So I think today I am going to take this darker brown here, and I'm just going to put that at the edge of my eyelid. So at the corner of my eye here. And I'm just gonna take me a little blending brush here. I'm just gonna dip into this color here, tap off the excess.
This shade is so dark. This shade looks like it could be black. I tell you, these last few eyeshadows I've, you know, tried out, the eyeshadow palettes, them, um, the darker brown colors are very, very pigmented. They could look black. I feel like I'm blending this left eye forever. That's how it goes though. Like I said in my last video, I feel like I can do my right eye better than my left eye. I think it's because I'm right-handed. I think I'm gonna do the packing motion on this left eye over here. And how do you guys feel about long form content? Like, do you guys like watching long form content or do you guys prefer something like a short on YouTube? Tell me what you guys think. Me personally, I like watching long form content. I like watching people apply their makeup. I like to watch the transformation. I mean, not like an hour and a half video, but a good 20, 30 minutes, you know? I like watching that because I like to see the look come together, but that's just me. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Okay, so I am going to, I'm going to take another shade out of this palette here. And this one is called Maddie. So it is like this bronzy shimmer right here. And I'm just gonna put that on the front of my eyelid here. And that's pretty much the look for my eyeshadow. Again, it's just a simple, basic look today. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do here. Just taking my ring finger. So that is the color there. You see how pigmented that is? It's very pigmented. I'm just gonna apply it front. Putting a little bit more on there, but it's a very pretty shimmer. I know it can be built up um, if I was to spray my brush because these shimmers are very pigmented. This whole eyeshadow palette is very pigmented. So, but I'm just going to leave it like that. I don't want to take away from the brown color that I use over here. All right, so I did some tapping motions in there as well. So I'm just going to take my first um, eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to put that back in the crease so I don't lose that color. All right, so now that that is finished, I'm going to go ahead and put on my concealer. I'm still using my Cover FX, I know guys. I'm sorry, but I really like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on under my eyes. So I'm going to let this sit on here for a good two to three minutes. The longer you let your concealer sit, at least a good two to three minutes, the better coverage you're gonna get. Because if you put your concealer on and you blend it out immediately, it's not gonna stay and it's gonna crease. You're gonna have a really bad crease under your eyes. Um, well, that's what I experience anyway. So the longer you sit, the better the coverage. So again, two to three minutes for your concealer and you should have that perfect full coverage that you're looking for. So we're gonna let that sit and I'll be right back. All right guys, so the concealer has been sitting on for a good two to three minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and blend it out. You already know how I do it. I'm just gonna use my fingers and blend it out. Reuse my ring finger and blend out the concealer. Yeah, you always want your concealer to be tacky. And for today, for foundation, I am going in with my e.l.f. Soft Glam Foundation. I love this bad boy here. So this one, again, is in 41 Tan Neutral. So it's Tan Neutral Bronze. So I'm just gonna go with that. And I am taking my e.l.f. blending brush. Um, I believe, is it the e.l.f. blending brush? Yes, the e.l.f. ultimate blending brush. I am taking that today and I'm going to use that for my foundation application. All 
All right, so I'm just gonna take my brush and blend out the foundation. I really love this foundation. This bad boy is beautiful. Again, if you set your face properly, then you're gonna have a flawless finish, but it's all about preparation and how you set your face to have that flawless look. But Elf, you're killing it, I love it. And it's not heavy on your skin. It's very suitable for summertime because it's very lightweight. So it's beautiful and it's medium to full coverage. So you can really build it up if you wanted to. So like I said, you can build it up. So I'm going to just apply a little bit more. I'm just going to put it on my forehead just a little bit. All right, so foundation is on. So now I'm just gonna blend out my under eyes. As you all know, I'm gonna blend up the under eyes and put on my translucent powder. I'm still using my CoverGirl Clean and Clear translucent powder. I'm still using the Wet n Wild banana powder. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out my under eyes here. Okay, so I'm just going to apply my powder puff on my face and blend out my face with my setting powder. All right, so face is set. So now we're going to do our bronzer, blush, and highlight. So for bronzer, I am using the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. And this one is in Better Than Vacation Tan. And those are the colors here. I am going to use the bottom two colors here and put on my bronzer. So nice having clean makeup brushes. And then for blush, I am using the Beauty in a Blink palette, the Glow Getter palette. So I'm just going to use the top row, probably these three colors here to put on my blush. I think this blush palette is so pretty and it has highlight in it as well. Do you guys like putting blush on your nose? I'm not really a fan of it, but I mean, you know, but I mean, I just like it on the cheeks. That's me personally, but hey, do what works for you. And then while we're at it, I am gonna put a little bit of highlight on and I am probably gonna use this uh, bronzy shade highlighter, probably mix it with these, this other color here that is called Brilliant. This is called Fearless. So I'm just gonna mix these two colors together and put a little pop of highlight on. Well, that didn't really show, but I said it was just an everyday makeup tutorial, so we don't have to go ham gin. You just gotta put a little bit on there. All right. 
And then of course, I like taking it up here by my brow bone. And do you guys still put highlighter on your nose? I don't really do it anymore. I used to, I used to put it on my nose and my chin, but I don't really do that stuff anymore. But let me know. We're going to go ahead and apply eyeliner. And if I can find my eyeliner. All right, so I'm still using my LA Girl Glide Gel Eyeliner, and this one is in very black. These eyeliners, I did have uh, one of my friends ask me about the eyeliner. Um, these are very nice eyeliners. Again, it's called the Glide Gel Liner, LA Girl. They're very pigmented and they stay on. I'm just gonna do the bottom um, waterline and apply it here. And it's very creamy, very, very creamy. So for mascara, I am using the I Defy Mascara from Half Caked. And I know this is in, okay, it's in black. So I'm just gonna put that on real quick. Sometimes I just like to rock regular lashes, not even put on any lashes, just put on a couple coats of mascara and be done with it. So. All right, so mascara is on. So now we're going to do eyebrows and then we're gonna do lips and then we're gonna set the face and then we should be finished. So I'm using my love here, my Wonder Beauty Upgraded Brows and this is in the Duo Crown and Gel Pencil. And this one is in dark brown. So I'm gonna do that real quick here. I love this thing. And I remember when I like was doing eyebrows, I remember I was like, I don't even do eyebrows and stuff, but I really love this pencil, one of my favorites. All right, so eyebrows are done. We're gonna go ahead and do the lips and set the face and we're all done. So I'm using my e.l.f. Uh, gel cream lip liner and this one is in cocoa. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips here. And then today for lipstick or what does this say? Lippy sticks. I am using the ColourPop Lippy Sticks and this is in Ziggy Matte. All right, so that is the color there. I just figured it would go with my shirt. So we're gonna use that today. I don't know how I feel about it. I guess it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. I don't know how I really feel about it. I mean, it's cute, but I'm not used to it. So I'm always used to my pinks, but we'll rock it. I mean, it matches my shirt, so we'll go ahead and rock it. It's very uh, creamy as well. I must say this formula is very creamy, so I do like it. I just gotta get used to the color. Okay, so I am going to take my NYX Professional Makeup, the Marshmallow Setting Spray. Um, this is supposed to be a matte setting spray, so I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna set my face. All right, guys, this completes the look. So I really like how the look turned out. Again, it's not over the top or anything like that. It's just a basic, neutral, glam, everyday makeup. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will have more content loading. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and as always, stay blessed.